Hey everyone, Brian Wilson here with Excelair. I wanted to give you a quick update on some of the updates we have done on the LinkedIn Chrome extension recently. If you haven't already noticed, there's been some uh, awesome changes we've made. So uh, let's just dive right in. I'm going to start from the context of a job and kind of show you how we would parse some candidates to the database and, and get them into jobs at the same time. So I've created a, a brand new position here called Sales Manager with my client UROC Industries. So what I want to do is start sourcing some candidates for this position, uh, and I'm going to start on LinkedIn. So let's open up LinkedIn. Um, I've done a quick search for sales manager um, here in my people network, and I'm going to start going through some of the results. Uh, so if I click on this first candidate, it's going to bring up their profile. And you'll notice on the candidate page, there's a little button here um, that'll populate. Um, this one says import to Excelair. I know this candidate is not in my database because it says import to Excelair. If the candidate was already in my database, um, this button would look different. So there's a couple ways I can import this candidate. I can just hover over the button import, click it once, and it's going to parse that candidate into the database. Or even better, I can hover over and click on the advanced import button, and it's going to open up an import window, which is going to look kind of similar, but also a little bit different to, to what you're used to. So instead of having three different steps down here at the bottom that you go through, um, we're going to automatically bring you to the page where you can link the candidate to a job. Now you can still click on preview and view the data that you're parsing before you commit it to the database, maybe make any changes uh, you'd like to that particular um, profile. You can still check for other duplicates to see if there are other Shane Harris's in the database that you might want to merge them with. Say there are maybe three or four different Shane Harris's, you could choose the correct one here from the list. Um, but by default, it's going to open you right here, and you're going to be able to link that candidate as potential or recede for a specific position. And then you're going to see your jobs listed down here below. So these jobs are a list of jobs that I'm currently assigned to, someone that, somewhere where I'm the user ID or co-user ID of that job. Now, if I wanted to see all of the jobs across my entire company, I could just click on all open jobs and hit search. And that's going to give me a list of all of the open jobs across my entire, entire organization. If I unselect that and hit search again, again, it's going to show me just my jobs. Now, what I'm going to do is hit um, just select the sales manager position and hit finish. And now the candidate has been imported into the database. And you'll see now that the button has changed to say open or update in Excelair. Um, so I can click on open. It's just going to open that profile directly. And you can see here it's filled in all the fields for Shane Harris, the, the job title and company and email and LinkedIn profile and all those other things, skills, education, employment history, even text from the LinkedIn profile that you can search on. Um, so very quick way of pulling that candidate in. And if I go to the job itself and refresh the pipeline, you'll notice that Shane Harris has been linked as a candidate in that pipeline. Okay. Now, um, let's come back. I'm going to come back to that search that I'm doing. Uh, I'll just click on uh, Debbie here. And same thing, you're going to notice that the, uh, our plugin is going to cross-reference and tell you if the candidate's in the database or not. And again, I can click on Advanced Import. It's going to remember my selection from before and I can hit finish to import this candidate and link them to the job at the same time. If I come back to the database and just look at the pipeline, I'm going to see that Debbie is now in there in the pipeline as well. Now, one other quick change that a lot of people have been asking for, what happens if this is a contact and not a candidate? Maybe I'm prospecting that kind of thing. So if I click on another candidate, I'm still going to hover over this uh, advanced import button. But when I do, before I commit them to the database, I'm actually going to mark it as import as a contact. And this is going to remember. So if I want a, uh, a person to be added to my database as a contact instead of a candidate, just check that box, and they'll come in as a contact instead of a candidate. So now if I hit finish, that candidate is, is now in the database as a contact instead of a candidate record. So very easy way of getting candidates into the database. You can still do um, one-click imports like you're used to. So if I come to this particular profile here, if I just want to get the candidate in the database without linking them to the job, I can just click import and I'm done, right? And again, I can click open. Um, but if you want to link the candidate to a job specifically, just remember to, um, when you click on that candidate, let's go to another one here. When you hover over that button to just choose advanced import, and then just choose the job that you want to link them to at that point in time. And if it's a candidate, not a contact, you know, remember to toggle whatever um, option you want there. Hit finish. 
So two clicks gets that candidate into your database or updated in your database and added to a job pipeline. Um, we're really excited about this update. We hope you guys are as well. If you have any questions at all, uh, please feel free to send an email to support at cbizsoft.com.